what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm actually going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine i say everyday because it's like the simple version but i don't really wear a lot of makeup so this would be like if i'm going to like a small event or something like that this would be like what i do before we get into the video make sure that you like subscribe um and you know like comment below what you guys want to see and stuff like that so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so we're a little closer than usual i have a mirror right here to kind of see like what i'm doing i've already plucked um like my eyebrows that's why they look irritated um and yeah so the first thing i like to do is moisture this is i put this on my face whether i'm doing makeup or not so this is oh so this is um coconut oil 100 percent organic coconut oil and when i do makeup i like to use a little bit less than i would use if i was you know just going out excuse my dog okay so i got literally a little bit and i just oh my goodness after that's done i like to take my brow pencil this is the um goof poof goof -proof. this is the goof proof brow pencil by benefit okay so since i am doing like a more simple natural everyday look um if you guys hear my dog walking around i'm sorry I like to do like a really, really natural brow. So I start off by spooling my eyebrow. My face looks really greasy. Dakota, Dakota sit, sit. My dog is really being annoying. I like to start off, hold on, let me move my mirror so that you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. Oops. I like to start by drawing a line At the top, that kind of follows, and then the bottom, too. A really, really light line. This pencil, it like, it comes off really easily, if that makes sense. Okay, so then I like to follow the whole, like, bottom. to I don't like to go all the way up here because that makes it look so boxy so I like to go to like like past the little shady part the part that you like to look shady and then I create an arch just like that and then I just lightly lightly fill it in my face when I'm doing makeup is so ugly and stale And as I go, I like to just spooly so you can get that natural um, look. And I think I'm done with this one. I like to do the same thing, spooly. Oh, I got a little hair. concealer to clean it up now um i am going to use the la pro or la girl pro concealer and this is in the shade toffee um and i typically like to mix it with the maybelline um fit me in the shade 25 so medium so i'm just gonna go under and shape my brows I'm going to use 
it's like a little flat um like blending brush like a smaller blending brush so i'm going to use this to blend my concealer out <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me concealer and kind of like can open it and go under and draw like three little dots just to kind of highlight my brow bone a little bit. It's not gonna be extreme, but this concealer is too light. I got it before I really knew like what shade concealer was supposed to be. So I like to just go under and highlight my brow bone and then blend that out really well. And I sometimes bring it down to my eyelid, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish blending. Okay, y'all, so I had to switch this thing over to a voiceover, but as you can see, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer and just kind of dragging it along um, under my eyes just to kind of bring a little brightness, not too, too much. It looks like a lot, but I promise it isn't. So since the LA Girl Pro Concealer is really close to my skin color, after that I like to add um, a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Pro Concealer and um, I then take my NYX Finishing Spray and spray my Beauty Blender and then just blend it all in. After my concealer is all blended, I like to take the Master Fix um, Translucent Powder by Maybelline and I literally take just a little bit 
well, it looks like a lot, but just a little bit. And I like to put it on my brush and then dust it under my eyes. I'm not a big fan of baking when it comes to this powder just because it does leave a little bit of flashback. But I like to get rid of the creases and things like that under um, my eyes after I do put on the concealer. This is the moment uh, for those who... Since I'm not doing any foundation in this um, look, since it's so simple, after I brush under my eyes like the excess powder and everything, I like to run the brush like all over my face just to kind of get rid of that shine um, and to also kind of smooth my face out if that makes sense. And then after I am finished with that, I like to take my NYX brow gel and just and just go over my eyebrows with it just to kind of give it that finished look and to help the little sparse hair stay in place. <laughs> Moving on to eyelashes. I like to use a eyelash curler because um, it kind of just brings my eyelashes up. I don't know if I'm the only person or not, but my eyelashes tend to go downward before I curl them or do anything else like that. Um, and so, yeah, it just makes them look better. So, yeah, I'm just curling. And then I like to use the NYX um, eyebrow gel once again just on my eyelashes to kind of bring them up before I do apply any kind of mascara to my eyes. Okay, so for mascara, I am using a MAC mascara. I got it when I got my makeup done for prom um, last year. And I don't know, I've just been using it ever since. It works really good to me, so I'm going to have to go back and get me some more. But yeah, I just, I don't know, put on mascara. I don't really know how to explain it. Rub it on my eyelashes. But yeah. <laughs> So girl, I had to do this step a little bit early, but this lip gloss is so bomb. It's Burt's Bees, and they have so many like different colors and shades and things like that. But it's so thick and shiny, and it lasts like for a really long time. Um, I don't know, it's not really like any other lip gloss. Like other lip glosses are really thin, and I don't know. this. I just like really thick lip glosses, if that makes sense. Um, but then I went ahead and sprayed my face with the NYX finishing spray to kind of give it that finished look and look, I'm looking cute, bow. Oh crap, forgot the highlight. <laughs> but unfortunately my highlight is broken up really bad. But I'm actually going to take a thicker angled brush to do my highlight. Um, I don't know. How long I've had that brush or what the brand is, but it's been a minute. So I get a little bit on the brush. And since I'm not doing like a really, really dramatic look, I'm just going to do like a little bit of highlight on my cheekbone and bring it down. <laughs> I also like to put just a little bit on the tip of my nose. Okay, and this is the finished look. Very simple, 
natural. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like the video, um, and check out my other videos as well. Comment down below what you guys want to see. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Bye. Uh, for those who...